The president's proposal is stirring debate right here in Maryland. Complete coverage continues now with Rick Ritter, live with reaction from people here at home who have been affected by gun violence. Rick. Vic, gun violence has certainly hit our communities hard with more than 300 homicides in Baltimore last year. But some say the president's actions are not a solution. Heartache no parent should endure. It breaks you down. It tears your, your family apart, your yes. friends. For Daphne Olson and Rhonda Cook, every day is a struggle. This is really real. It's not a movie. Both lost their sons to gun violence in Maryland. One murdered in Hartford County, one in Baltimore City. When is the change going to start? How many more young men and women have to die for the change to start? 2015 was one of the deadliest years in Baltimore history, with 344 homicides. In 2014, it was the Columbia Mall shooting that rocked headlines. The suspects struggled with mental health issues, fixated on mass shootings. Bloodshed the president hopes to soon grip. Baltimore County Police Chief Jim Johnson was at the White House Tuesday. We think these measures are significant. They will make a difference. They're reasonable. They still protect the Second Amendment. Maryland already has some of the strictest gun control laws in the entire country. And many say the executive actions the president outlined on Tuesday are far from new. What he's talking about will have no effect on me as a store. We already do all the paperwork. We have all the uh, mental health forms, the paperwork, it's all being done. Frank Lone owns the Pasadena Pawn and Gun Shop and says the president's actions don't hit the issue. The bad guy's always going to get a gun. You know, the good guy goes to a store and does it right. But for some, the president's urgency is a step towards saving lives. A new CBS poll shows only 50% of Americans think that stricter gun laws will help reduce gun violence. Live in downtown Baltimore tonight, Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. Republicans have vowed to fight and reverse the president's actions.